Woo! What's good with y'all, Ocean Squad? Man, I'm hungry right now. I might just start eating this burrito too while I'm live, y'all. That's how backed up on time I am. But it's all good. We're gonna make this work. Who we got in the building? We got Elias. If everybody in the building can hit the like button. If you in the 3WP Wave fam, just hit the like button one time. Let's shoot that like button to like 100 plus likes ASAP. Also, since I missed the live stream yesterday, I'm doing a giveaway today, all right? I got something to tell y'all though, which is unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Some of y'all seen my reaction the other day when I was live on Instagram and I was talking to y'all when I pulled out that red edition without the handle. Ah, man, it's unfortunate. And like, it really gets to me right here. Like, it gets to me right here. There's been a mistake, which is very unfortunate. So I got to do some phone calls to everybody that pre-ordered, and I got to talk to them. So I'm going to be calling you if you pre-ordered a red edition without the handle, because, ah, man, who is this? Elias. I live in Italy. I got my ways because of you. Shout out to Point Blank. I'm happy I was able to help you. How long does it take to get deep 360 waves? Um, it varies for different people and different hair textures, but usually it takes um like anywhere from four to like in anywhere above months. So four plus months. Just leave it at that. Why are you saying thank you, Elias? Show me how to brush the sides. My waves not laid down. I need help. See, if you're trying to lay your waves down, you should be wearing that do-rag, bro. Um, that's why I got mine's on, my do-rag on right now because I'm woofing. And this do-rag right here is going to help me keep my hair laid. What's the topic today? That's what we need to get into. Let me uh, read the description because I wrote the topic in the description. This live stream will be based around tips for getting the best use out of your do-rag or wave cap. So let's start there. Yes, sir. Let me go get some more do rags and webcaps so we could talk about this. So y'all can learn how to get the best use out of them. Hold on, I'll be back. All right, Wade fam, this the dealio. So, if you're trying to get the best use out of your do rag or wave cap, you need to understand the purpose of the do rag and or wave cap. So, first of all, who know what the purpose of a do rag is? And it's not to represent a gang, like the freaking administrators at at Lynn Charter School was trying to say as they reasoning for trying to ban those kids from wearing those do rags. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that as well, y'all. Let's just first get into the topic. You need oil cream. I need a, a sue rag. I got a sue rag right here. So we're gonna talk about all these right here, y'all. So first of all, the purpose of the do rag, if you did not know, is to keep your hair laid down and to it, it lays it down and it also helps to keep it laid down so it does two things with that purpose right there it lays it down and it helps it stay laid down also for the point of 360 waves it also helps you save progress i recommend you use your do-rag before you go to sleep all right and when i say that that means you use it while you're sleeping you put it on leave it on save your progress at night keep your hair laid down to keep your hair down to protect it while sleeping yes sir cordell brock he know what's up isn't showing good my waves isn't showing good so the longer you have your waves the better they they tend to um get so if you say your waves aren't looking that good right now i think that you're not you haven't been in the wave game that long you the breast bro appreciate you alexander so um also another thing people may wonder is what's the difference between a wave cap 
and this is a monsoon cap, which is similar to a wave cap, but it's from, um, you know what I mean, a waver who makes products, all right? Now, a wave cap, it almost has the same, the same exact purpose as a durag. And it, it can be used for the same purposes, to lay your hair down, to help it stay laid down. But my thought on the wave cap is that it's not as good as the do-rag. And that's in my experience. And so I would much rather prefer a do-rag over a wave cap. All right. Now, that's not to say that you can't find any use for this, for having a wave cap and a do-rag, because many people, what they do is they, when they're woofing, like I'm woofing heavy right now, wave fam. I just threw this do-rag on too. But yeah, many people, they take their do-rag, and then they put their the cap over it. And this is what, what is called double compression. And so you can get much better compression to lay your hair down that much quicker. Or just if you have a lot of hair and it's real tough, it'll just give you that extra strength to lay it down. So you know what I'm saying? Now I got a double compression type thing going on over here. Some people even triple compress, y'all, with their do-rag. So, you already know about the Sue rag, which is, it's a different type of, I don't want to say a different type of do-rag, but you know what I mean? It's an alternative. And it has Velcro straps on it. I'm trying to find the front of it. All right, it don't matter. But look, so this is how the Sue rag work. You know I'm, so now I'm double compressed, triple compressed now. If I throw this Sue rag at the top of that monsoon cap. I just go like this, boom. This triple compression right here. Now, me, on my thoughts on triple compression or double compression, I never really did that when I was coming up in the wave game when I was getting my waves. I just, I got put onto that by being a part of the wave pages and, and people talking about double compressing and stuff. But I honestly never do it because I don't feel like I need it. But that's probably because I already got my waves on swim, so my waves are already laid down for the most part in this train. But when I'm whooping heavy like I am right now, I'll show you all my waves. If you, if you was a part of the live stream yesterday on Instagram, then you already seen how, how crazy my whoof is. Like, I haven't whooped like this in a minute, man. I'm gonna get a haircut this week, though. I don't wanna whoof no longer. But yeah, so now I'm triple compressed. New to waves. I only have waves in the back. And that's the only place they will come. Now, they could come other places, bro. You just got to keep on going. <laughs> I can't eat and live stream at the same time. What are you giving away? What y'all want me to give away? How many times in a week are you supposed to put pomade in? Somebody asked. Somebody help him out. He don't know. Basically, you put it in when you need it. But usually, that's once per day at the most. If you find that you feel like you need to put your product in more than once in a day, I suggest you get another pr product because that product, yeah, ah. For example, I used to put in grease in my hair back in the days when I didn't know no better. At first, it looked cool, you know what I mean? My hair looked shiny and moisturized because that's what the grease make it look like, right, when you first put it in. But a few hours later, what I would notice is that my hair would look dry and it would also collect dust. I don't know. That's just what that grease do, all right? It just When the dust hit it or dirt, it just it holds on to that grease. And so a couple hours later, I feel like, you know what? My hair looking weird. I need some more product. You know what I mean? And if you got to keep putting your product in multiple times per day, like I said, I feel like you need a new one because it's not good enough. I thought that was all right. I thought that was normal because at that time, that was the only product I was using. But then as time went on and I tried other products, that's when I realized, like, hold up. This product that I'm using now is lasting me the whole day. My hair is looking nice moisturized and healthy and natural all throughout the day. 
and I don't feel like I need to put nothing in. Why does my straight hair be messy after I take my do-rag off in the morning? Do you brush your hair down before you put the do-rag on? Is your do-rag on tight enough? Those are questions I would ask. Give away a brush with the handle. Does that, is that what y'all want me to do? I'll let y'all choose this time. Normally, I won't give away no handle brushes, but you know what I'm saying? Since I missed the live stream yesterday and I didn't post the video about woofing yesterday as well, then I'm going to give y'all some, some, I don't know, I'm going to give y'all a brush, man, to make it up to y'all. Make a white brush. All right. That's possible. No handle. Y'all want the red one with no handle or the red one with the handle? Red with the handle, brush with the handle, blue with the handle, medium. Oh, brush with the handle. Medium brush. Give away a do rag. I DM you on IG. I got way too many DMs on IG, Wave Fam. 3WP blue brush. When my hair is short, it is. When my hair is short, it is straight, but curls up when it grows. Can I get waves much progress? All right, I was trying to read that as the comments kept going up. Yeah, you get progress, bro. Just keep brushing. All of them, says True Savage. <laughs> How do I make my connections better on the sides? I think I made a video about that recently. Can you do a night method? Did I do night method 3.0 already? If I didn't do night method 3.0, I might do one. Can you use a soft brush? When your hair is low, you can. How long should it be before you start seeing results, says Jaden. Normally, you don't see results until after your second or third haircut. You might see a little bit after your first haircut, but normally, you know what I mean, it ain't nothing too major, so you you might see a little ripples, but that might not be nothing major. So I'll say after your second or third haircut, that's when you start seeing results. Do you get a taper and tape up every week? No, I don't. I only I don't get shape up no more. Only time I I hold on. I never get a, a, a shape up, a lineup, no more. All I do is get my hair cut and it's all in one swoop. Because when you start to itch away at your hair too often, that's how your hairline start getting pushed back slowly. Cause your barber got a boom, 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 boom. He got to knock over those loose hairs. And then if you do it too soon before those loose hairs come over, then your barber got to touch up that line just a little bit to make it look crispy for you. And so that's how your hairline slowly get pushed back. And that's how you see some people, their hairline just be way back there. You just be like, whoa, what happened, fam? How long should you wolf for, says Elias. Normally, the best time to wolf for is four plus weeks, all right? If you already got your waves on swim, then you could get away with three weeks, all right? But other than that, four plus weeks, minimum. Let us see your wave, says Tijuana Holland. All right. <laughs> I got y'all. Yippee. Triple compressed right now. 
if you just got in here, I just triple compressed. I talked about compression. I talked about the difference between a do rag and a wave cap. <clears throat> we did all that conversation. I just need to work on my crown, says Brick Drop. Should I send a pic of my wave, says Elias Anderson. I'm woofing heavy right now. It's crazy how much I'm woofing. I don't got no products in my hair right now. When I, I talk about this in the video that I'm gonna post this week about woofing, when I'm, when I'm woofing, I normally start using less and less products. It's just a habit I, I form. I stop putting in products when I'm woofing heavy. And I just get straight to the brush work. When I cut my hair, y'all, I'm about to be dipping. I'm telling you. I haven't woofed this long in a minute. So once this woof come off, they the silkies are going to come out to play. Y'all gonna see it. I'm gonna do a haircut video too. So once y'all see that, y'all gonna see the benefits of whooping firsthand. I really wanna brush with the green edition right now, but you know what I'm saying? I can't let y'all see that just yet. That green edition changing up my pattern for the better. Your man's is whooping heavy, man. Gotta fix my hairline. When you whooping, all the hair start over curling. You could just go like this, like to stop those hairs from over curling over your hairline and making your hairline look crooked. Just simply go like that, push those hairs away. Once you do that, boom. See what I'm saying? I'm good now. Yes, sir. I got a video about hairlines too coming out soon. Let me see what y'all talking about. You should do a night routine for waves. I've did a night method before a couple times. I lose progress when I wash. That's a temporary loss of progress, my friend. It's not real loss. All you gotta do to get that progress back is to get you a breast session in after you get out the shower and then uh, get you a nice long breast session in. Once you finish that breast session, you're gonna see your waves come back into place. How do I comb my way? Somebody said, how do my waves not disappear when I comb it? That's because my waves are really in there. Um, somebody else says, after I wear my durag to sleep and wake up, should I wear a shower cap to protect my waves from getting wet? And the answer to that is, no, nah, not really. Your waves are still going to be there even if they get wet. The only thing is when you wet it, it's going to cause your hair to, <clears throat> excuse me. When you wet it, it's going to cause your hair to absorb that moisture, right? And then it's not going to be as laid down. So that's the, that's the thing that you're seeing. So you wake up, you go ahead, do that shower, wash your hair and now your waves ain't as laid as they was when you took that do-rag and looked in the mirror before you jumped in the shower. So all you really got to do is understand that you need to brush your hair back into place 
once you get out the shower. Brush it back into place and then put that do-rag back on. See, the thing is, nowadays, it's going to be hard for y'all because, you know what I mean, this this is even for me. I wake up, you know what I mean, I, I take my shower in the morning. So sometimes, you know what I mean, by the time I want to leave out the house, <clears throat> I still need to have my do-rag on so that it can lay down. Because this is the thing about do-rags, y'all. It takes time for your do-rag to lay your hair down. And the messed up thing about it is they telling y'all y'all can't wear y'all do-rags in, in public or in, in school and stuff. And what if you want to lay your hair down, you know what I mean, during the day? And that's the issue at hand, too. Like, some people, and this occurs, if you if you wake up, you know what I mean, you slept with your do-rag all night, you wake up, your hair lay down. Let's just say you don't even take a shower, all right? You go about your day. Your hair is not going to be as laid down as it was when you first took your do rag off. That's just a natural thing that occurs over time. You know what I'm saying? Because you got the do rag on your head, it's laying it down. Now that your do rag is no longer on, your hair doesn't have that pressure, and so it kind of lifts up over time. If you want to lay your hair back down, you have to put the do rag back on and leave it on for a certain amount of time. If you're trying to lay your hair down back down in the middle of the day. You can't wear it because you in school. That's just the thing that this is what I want to speak on that one more time, y'all. I'm supposed to be writing a multi-page paper on this for y'all. All right. Now, I really wanted to do it and complete it this weekend, but man, I just got so busy, man. It's crazy. I didn't even get to edit the video that I wanted to drop on Monday. So I'm going to get that paper ready. I'm not going to say a specific time, man. Y'all already see how I'm, I'm, I'm messing up with times. I'm like, I'm going I'm to post a video on Monday. <laughs> I didn't even show up on Monday. Y'all probably was like, Rashad, where the hell you at, bro? You, you tripping, Rashad. Then I tried to start the live stream just to make up for it, and I couldn't even make the live stream. I was hurt. How often do you use As I Am Co-Watch? <clears throat> I haven't been using it lately. I've just been using another natural conditioner that's just sulfate free. So I haven't been co-washing. I was woofing for five weeks. I'm about to get my, my cut. Can't wait. Yes, sir. I'm about five weeks woofing right now too, just so y'all can take a look at what that looks like for me. This is what five weeks look like. What the heck is this in my hair? I'm looking pretty good right now, honestly. I can tell you that. No products in my hair right now. You see my natural shine, my natural texture when I'm looking. I just broke that mirror. Devastated broke it. That mirror is devastated now. Let me show y'all. Y'all see it? R.I.P. Everybody come in R.I.P. Now I got to get a new mirror. I know y'all are probably wondering, like, Rashad, when you going to get a new mirror, bro? I, <laughs> Rashad, why you always got that broke mirror? R.I.P. Let me be the first to come in. R.I.P. My mirror. R.I.P. Oh <laughs> R.I.P. Glass mirror, man. It's a shame, man. See, that's why I didn't get a new one, because I knew eventually that one was going to go RIP, where I can't even use it no more. Is the men Cantu pomade good? I don't really mess with pomades. I see you, girl. <laughs> Vincent Taylor says. Mm -mm. Ghost Boy Echo said, seven years bad luck. I don't believe in bad luck, my friend. I only believe in good luck. How many times a day do you re-rag up to lay your hair down? I don't, honestly. 
Um, I don't re-rag because for one, it takes longer when you try to re-rag. That's just that's just the truth. All right, try it for yourself. It takes much longer to get the same results. Um, also, some people do it, and that's just they they choice. You know what I mean? That's their preference. It's just not me. So it's all a matter of if you want to re-rag. You keep your girls low key, huh? Says Malcolm. <laughs> Do you look up to 360 Jeezy or are you ahead of him and Poppy Blasted? I mean, do I look up to them? I got respect for the waivers. You know what I'm saying? Jeezy, I, I respect Jeezy, man. He his grind is just is respectable and is motivated. You know what I'm saying? Poppy Blasted, I respect Poppy Blasted too. His grind is just man, it's motivated and, it, and it's nothing but respect. As far as do I think I'm ahead of them or or what do I look up to them? You know what I mean? I wouldn't say I think I'm ahead of them because I don't really feel like I'm in competition with anybody. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like I'm in competition with myself. And yeah, that's how I feel about it, Wade fam. Should you always wear a rag in the rain? What products do I use? I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the products that I use while I'm whipping. I talk about this in the video I'm posting this week, but um, besides that, let me see. Don't be what's up with me. All right, so when I'm whipping, I steer away from heavier products. So I don't use the Wave and Scout Butter when I'm whipping. I try not to, unless it's, it's something serious, you know what I'm saying? But usually when I'm whipping, but I don't have nothing in right now because I'm just, I'm being clean right now. I don't got nothing to to do <clears throat> and i don't feel like i need any but yeah this is aloe vera gel right here y'all i i'll use this right here while i'm whiffing or i'll use this almond oil and it's just a natural oil you know what i'm saying it gives my hair a nice looking healthy shine i'm not gonna use this one right here i'll just put a little bit on my hand You know what I'm saying? Rub it. And I don't feel like I need to put nothing heavy while I'm whooping because my hair is pretty healthy as it is. And then when I put too much products in my hair when I'm whooping, it'll make me have to wash sooner than I want to wash. You know what I'm saying? Because my hair will start collecting that, that product. It's harder to wash out when you got so much hair on your head. And so that's why I steer away from heavier products when I'm whipping and I just go to oils. Because the oils, they're not that heavy. So when I, when I go to wash my hair, the oils are going to wash out pretty easily. It's not going to build up either. What I do when I pour oils too, I also, where's my comb at? I like to comb my, my oils in when I'm whipping. When you comb your hair, that lifts the hair off your scalp. So every time after I comb, I understand that my hair get, is getting lifted off my scalp. And so I brush it back down. If you comb your hair and you feel like your waves are going away, that's because you're lifting the hair off your scalp. And what are waves? Laid down curls. So when you lift them waves up, when you lift that hair up, you're in essence taken away from the definition of your waves. Yeah, I wanted to have my mirror, but I don't have a mirror right now, sadly. Thanks for cleaning up for me, Dad. You're welcome. Brush it back down. I wanted to do it with the with the green edition. Oh, I love that green edition. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Do I got a hair in my eye? Oh, I'm about to brush it with the green edition over here. All 
I've been doing this thing. I've just been using this green edition, y'all, because <clears throat> well, I can't talk about it yet, honestly. But yeah, I just be using that green edition. That green is dope. That green dope. My son, what's up? <clears throat> How often do you get a shape up? I only get a shape up whenever I get my hair cut. And I only get my hair cut once per month at the most. So you know what I'm saying? That's how I keep it. Is Wave 544 a good brush? Yeah, I think it's a good brush. I got one of them. I use it. I like it. It do a good job. I just got a bald head, says Aluan Namana. I can't pronounce her name, my, my friend. That brush exclusive, <laughs> says 360 Woods. I'm a beginner and I have waves. All right, how many likes we got? I want to do a giveaway right now, y'all. Somebody tell me how many likes we got. Do we got 200 likes? Can we get 200 likes? Somebody said 96, somebody said 177, 87. Hold up, who, who telling the truth? <laughs> I'm saying way too many numbers. I'm about to just check, way fam, y'all crazy. So many numbers going on. We got 218. That's good. I like that, Wave Fan. I'm about to do a giveaway right now. So the first giveaway of the day is going to be Hmm. Y'all ready for this giveaway? Yeah, all right, y'all ready? Y'all been ready, all right, my bad. Excuse me, wait fam, I know y'all been ready. So what I want y'all to do is Go to, let me see. All right, so this is for people. If, if you really mess with 3WP Rashad, you're going to have a, a head start in this, all right? So what I want you to do is go to 360wayprocess.com. Share the, the um, website on Facebook, all right? And say one sentence about why you like 360wayprocess.com. And then screenshot that you shared it and then send it to me on Snapchat. The first person who sent that to me on Snapchat, the screenshot of their Facebook post, they win. Oh, you know what? I have my, my Snapchat turned off for people to message me. Cause I just, I, I was, it was getting out of control, y'all. So I'm gonna turn that on right now. So yeah, do that. Let me turn it on so people can contact me. There's probably gonna be so many messages that come through right now when I turn that on. It's gonna be crazy. <clears throat> people were sending me they, um, they, they were like, you know how people on Snapchat, they send their messages to everybody? Like they kept doing that to me. And like, when I got, when I allowed for everybody to contact me at one time, they'll send it every day. I guess people do that to maintain their streaks. They send it to everybody on their story. I got food all in my braces and stuff. My bad, y'all. <laughs> I was hungry though, man. I woke up today. I started doing the brush orders. And um, yeah. After I finish the brush orders, next thing I know, it's about to be 4.30. And I'm like, dang, I got to do the live stream. I don't have Facebook. All right, you have to get in on the next one. I don't know your Snapchat. If you know my Snapchat, then you a real 3 wp -er, Or you probably, you know what I mean? You've been around for a long time. But my Snapchat is Rashad Rob.
I don't know if somebody sent that to me yet. Feel like people be sending me stuff like this. Like it says, if you open this, you will get kissed, hugged, or asked out tomorrow. But if you break this chain, a girl named Katrin will be in your bed bathroom tonight. You have fit what? <laughs> You have 15 minutes to send this to 15 people. Your time starts now. No, I'm good, my friend. I'm a real 3W peer, says King Glow. 3W P, wave fam. Why you didn't send it to me then? Send me the screenshot so you can win the brush. Oh, wait, somebody did it. Ah, uh, you didn't even post it, wave fam. I'm not gonna let that slide. Daniel 412. It still say post. I want to see the, the it posted. Smooth kid one, you sent me a picture of your wave, but you didn't share the 3WP website on Facebook and screenshot the share. Calvin Smith. You already won a brush before Calvin, but so Calvin Smith just won. I'm about to video time him right now. You want some water? Yeah. Calvin, answer this this um video call. What is the site? 360waveprocess.com is the site. Calvin, what brush you want? Wave fan, what brush you want? You want? What brush you want? The Wait, green. the green one? <laughs> he said the green one. The green one ain't out yet. <laughs> Didn't you win already, though? You can still win again, though. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, he own it. You want the red one? Yeah. Which red one? Yeah. All right. He just won it. Y'all say what's up to the Wayfair. What's up? <laughs> Calvin won. All right, bro. Um, I'm gonna message you. You know how to send it to me. Oh, I'm gonna message you and tell you how to claim it. Okay. All right. Peace. All right, peace. All right, y'all. Calvin one. We're gonna do another giveaway, y'all. So if you didn't win that one, it's cool. All righty. We got a couple more people who just sent some snaps to me. Close. Do the same on Twitter. Or I might do it on Twitter too. All right, y'all, so I'm about to do one more. I'm going to end this live stream. How many likes we got right now? Let's boost that like button. Can we get 250? And then I'm going to do another giveaway. So my Snapchat is Rashad Rock.
Zary says, should be brushing now, Rashad. Why do he wear three do-rags, though, says Kaysen. He must have just came in in the middle of the video and just saw me take off the three, the, the triple compression. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> Add me back. All right. I'm from LA, so you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just go ahead and mess with the Lakers. That's the favorite basketball team. How do we even share? You just copy the link and just, you know what I mean, post it. Why do my sides be messy when I take off my do-rag? Cause your waves aren't trained fully yet. You gotta keep that brush work up. Finally, I need your help, please. I've been brushing and brushing and getting no results. Like, I don't know what else to do. I feel like it's legit impossible for me to get waves. And I use a wave kit, please. <laughs> you had to throw that in at the end and you use a wave kit. <laughs> and I use the wave kit. That's where you went wrong at, wave fam. You're not, you're not supposed to use no wave kits. You're supposed to get you a good brush, something like this. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to put in that brush work all throughout the day. It's my... Whew. Do we got 250 likes so I can do a giveaway? Do an Instagram next, or I'm going to do the next giveaway on Instagram. But before then, let me see. What else am I supposed to be talking about? We will discuss how to tie your do-rag. Talk about the differences between do-rags and wave caps. So we talked about the differences between do-rags and wave caps. So let's talk about how to tie your do-rag. So today I'm about to show you how I tie my do-rag. There are multiple ways to tie your do-rag, so please don't think this is the only way. Also, keep in mind that... Um, you know what I'm saying? If you try to tie your do-rag in, in a different way than I tie mine, if you feel that that way is more comfortable, then you know what I mean? Don't just try and change yours up because you see the way I tie mine. But this is what I do, y'all. So I put mine on. Right? Right here, I'm using a Monsoon, a monsoon cap do-rag to show y'all how to tie it. So I adjust it to just above my hairline. I don't put it way down here because I don't want all that. I don't want no line on my forehead for one. All right. So just the fact of keeping your do-rag right at the hairline is going to prevent a, a line from being on your forehead. You still may get a, a minute line on your forehead if, um, if it's just above your hairline, but it ain't going to be like super noticeable. At least from my experience, it's never super noticeable. So... After that, now, when I tie my do-rag, I'm not, like, I'm not a stickler. When I say I'm not a stickler, I don't, I don't like, like, look, I just go ahead and do this. I don't care if the uh, the string is not perfectly flush. You know what I'm saying? If it twisted back there, then it twisted. That's how I feel. But, but wait, just because it twisted don't mean, like, it's going to mess up. But with this monsoon cap do rag, it's different because you got he got his logo right here. So you know what I'm saying? You want the logo to be on the outside. So I guess I gotta be a stickler with this do rag. Or at least I gotta make sure that logo is twisted right so it could be on the outside. Let me try this over now. So yeah. So now that I bring that around, I'm not stickling in it. Hmm, that's weird. Let me see. I bring it around like that. I feel like I got to be a stickler with this one. Because it's weird if I have one this side stickler and then the other side just not, not right. So I got to be stickler with it. All right. You bring it around. Bring it around town. I bring it around town like that, right? 
and then I tie it in the back. Now I tie it like a shoestring. So that's one loop and then boom. I tie it like a shoestring, it's good. Sometimes I don't tie it like a shoestring and I just tie it in a knot. And then I leave it that way. When I tie it in a knot, I leave it because it's gonna be the same. Let me fix this. After I tie it in the back, I'm gonna show y'all the other way with my other do-rag. But yeah, after I tie it in the back, I go ahead and I, I take the bands, the strings, and I freaking straighten them out. And I pull them right to just above my hairline. Just like the same position that I put the do-rag on when I first put it on. Hit the like button if you just got in the building. If this is helping you out, hit that like button for 3WP. All right, so now my do-rag is on. It's nice and comfy. When I spread this out right here, that's going to, for one, give me more compression up here. And two, it's going to help me avoid lines because all the pressure is not within one small spot. You know what I'm saying? When you got it real tight <clears throat> and small like that, all the pressure is getting in that one spot. And then that's what causes you a line much easier and quicker. When you spread it out like that, that uh the width is spread and then that's less pressure in one single spot which helps you avoid lines so yeah now my do-rag is on and i'm cool you know what i'm saying now this one right here this is tied in a knot you see see what i'm saying this is a real knot there's no you know what i mean untying this really easily i'm gonna have to pick at this knot to tie it and the way i put this one on is, is much similar all right For one, I flip this one out. You see this seam right here? I take this seam and I put it on the outside. Now, some people might be like, Rashad, why you just flip that inside out? Now it's now it's backwards. Now it's inside out. Well, um, that's how I'm gonna have to rock it because this line right here, especially when you're woofing, when you compress your hair down with the durag for a long a long period of time, this is gonna cause a line on your hair like that. Now it's not a permanent line, so you know what I mean? It ain't a big deal, but at the same time, um, it just, I just don't like it. That's my personal experience because it splits my waves in a sense, all right? And I want them to look, flaw I don't, not flawless, but that's not the word I'm looking for, but I want them to look nice and flow when I take off my do-rag. I don't want the line going down the middle of my head. So that's why I flip it like that. And now I'm not being a stickler, right? So I, I pull that back. I pull that, boom, boom, just like that. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all from the back, back angle, because a lot of people get confused. I tried to show Ron how to do that one time when we was um, doing some promo pictures for 3WP, and he couldn't even get. He didn't like it. It was confusing to him. So I'm gonna show y'all what I did. All right, so I just take it like this. It's already pre-tied too. Look at it. It's in the knot. But the good thing about it being pre-tied is that it's already fit in my head. So I don't have to tie it again every time. You see what I'm saying? So this saves me a lot of time when I put my do-rag on. It's pre-tied, I just boom, boom. Let me do that, let me do that like in a slow, obvious motion. So I take the two strings, boom, cross them over, boom. Flip that like that. And then I flip it again in the front and I boom, right? And then I just throw it back like that. Boom, boom. And then I pull the flap at the back so that there won't be no space up here. And now that it's on my head, it's already adjusted to my head size. So, it, you know what I mean? It's at a nice, decent, it's at a nice, decent, what's the word I'm looking for, y'all? Tightness, I guess. And then I fix these bands so that they're not like bunched up and causing so much pressure in one place. Fix them. I'm not a stickler with it, but all right, let me show y'all something. If you do it like this, sometimes if you don't be stickler with it, it might be flipped up. So it's going to cause like pressure right here because it's not perfectly um, stickler through. It been flipping. So you just got to flip it in the front and just drag that finger. So I feel like I feel it bunched up right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to flip it. I'm just gonna flip it one time. 
and I drag my finger again, and it's looser back here. It's more loose. And I just bring that up to my hairline. This side is stickler, it's not stickler enough. So I'm gonna have to flip it. One more time on that side. All righty. And I'm Gucci right now. You know what I'm saying? That's how I do mine. What if you have a haircut? Same way. You really like to use stickler. <laughs> 675, two hours gradually or all at once. Hold up, what you talking? Are oh, you talking to somebody else? My bad, Jack Boy. I'm all up in your conversation. My bad, way fam. 262 likes says 360 Matt. So what that mean? Giveaway time? Do you get dandruff? No, sir, I don't. When I was younger, I used to get dandruff. It was bad, man. My mom, I was young. My mom used to take me to the barber shop. I think I was in elementary school. And I used to be embarrassed, man. I was a little kid. It was, it was crazy, man. It was the white dandruff all, everywhere. I, I used to think people was looking at me and stuff, and I was just feeling weird in the barber chair. But let me tell you what happened. When I got into the wave game, I learned how to take care of my hair. And shoot, once I learned how to take care of my hair, I never had dandruff again. Why can't I get waves on the top? I'll, mm, that's a number of reasons. Now, I got too much compression on my hair right now. Way too much compression. I couldn't handle it. Give me a headache. Cut my circulation off. Rashad, why is it so hard to get waves on the side? Um, go to 360waveprocess.com, and then I got a page about how to get 360 waves on the side. That page clearly explains why it's difficult for guys with coarse hair to get waves on the side is because our hair tends to grow thin on the sides. That's what happens when you double compress, triple compress. But yeah, our hair tends to grow thinner on the sides than at the top and back. So when you get your haircuts, if you get an even cut all around, your sides are going to be thinner and that's going to delay the progress on them. So read that page on 360wayprocess.com. It's going to explain everything to you. You should do a questionnaire for people who don't have social medias. Maybe, way fam, maybe. What should you do before you and after a haircut? I'm gonna have to make a video on that. How do I know my crown, know what my crown is and how to fix it? I'm a, hey, I don't got a mirror, way fam, so I can't even go like this and show you. I got a video talking about it though, so just go check that one out. All right, y'all, I'm about to do this giveaway. I'm in this live stream. I got more work to do. I got to chill out too. This one right here, I've been working all day and she's just been sitting around. Basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, y'all, she needs some attention. <laughs> what is your Twitter? It's at 360 wave process. Am I doing the wave process from one week ago? No progress. That's normal wave fam. Type on YouTube, how long does it take to get waves? I got a video talking about it. Should there be results in three weeks? No, sir. Type of video. I got a couple videos talking about how long it takes to get 360 waves. Type that on YouTube. I'm a, it, I explain it very well. Rashad, I need help on my right and my left side. It's not wavy. All right. So this is what it is. What's today? Let me look at my calendar real quick. Because... I don't even know where my phone is. Oh, there it is on the floor. <sighs> All right. We got how many likes, Wave Fan? We're about to do this giveaway. 281 likes. Can we get 300? <laughs> nah. 360 Wave Process has, has been dipping with a blue and red edition. Just need the gold edition now. That gold edition, something crucial. What do I do to my hair to take off my do-rag? When I use pomade, what do I do to my hair after I take off my do rag? Brush your hair. That's what you do. Rashad, why is it hard for me to swirl my crown from beehive? That's a difficult thing, bro, because you got to change up them angles, and then your hair has to relearn. So not only does your hair have to to um. <clears throat> It just has to change different growth angles, right? So it, it not only has to, it's already waved up, but it has to relearn a different wave. And that's, it's, it's much difficult, 
much more difficult for your hair to do that. It's gonna take a lot of brush work. What do you do to fix your hairs that stick up after taking off your do-rag? Get a soft brush. Get you a soft brush, run it through the top, or you know what I mean a medium brush, and don't push down though. Don't push down, don't put no pressure, and just, just rub it on there like that. Or you get your hands and you go like this, or you get a plastic bag, you know what I'm saying? A plastic bag like this, go like that. That's gonna lay them down real quick. See what I'm saying? I'm about ready for a haircut. I'm always gonna be dipping. It's crazy, y'all. Wait till that video will drop. Y'all gonna see. The only thing I got right now, the only concern is if I should go low or if I should stick to that 1.5. I gotta decide. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go 1.5 because if I go lower than the 1.5 after I did this heavy woof session, I'm gonna cut off progress. So that's what happens. When you woof, I'm gonna explain this to y'all real quick, all right? Because I didn't explain this in the woofing video that I made already. When you woof for an extended woof, you don't want to cut for your following haircut. You don't want to cut too low. All right. It's I can't give you the exact reason and why, but I can let you know from experience. If I do a long woof session that's out of my normal woof session length, and then I get a low cut, I'm disappointed because and it happened multiple times. I'm disappointed and I see that I didn't get the progress that I thought I was going to get from all the brushwork I was putting in. And this is simply due to the fact of me cutting it too low after that heavy whiff. The reason why the progress has diminished, I don't know. Maybe it's because I cut it too low too quick. All right. But yeah, what I'm going to have to do after this whiffing session that I'm currently in, I'm going to have to go 1.5. To save progress, the next cut, I could do a, I could do a lower than a one point five. All right, you just got to give your hair time to adjust. Three sixty waves. I got baby waves. I'm gonna woof, but I'm getting lazy. Can't get lazy, bro. Every time I brush the right side, I get a part. How should I brush it? You gotta get in that mirror and then brush it in different ways and see the correct way to brush it to avoid that part. That's what you gotta do. But let's do this giveaway. Let's do a giveaway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna do it on Twitter this time, not on Instagram. The first person in LA is 547. All right, y'all ready for the giveaway? Let me go on Twitter real quick. My Twitter is at 360 Wave Process. If you're not following, go follow right now. I'm about to post something. I don't know what I've got in the codes. All right, so I'm about to post something on Twitter right now. All you gotta do is retweet it and comment on it. And I'm gonna pick some. All right. 
All right, just posted it on Twitter. Retweet and comment. We got nine retweets. Five comments. Which brush y'all want? You got guacamole on this? Yeah. Oh. No, I, I like guacamole. <laughs> Am I what? No, I'm still alive. My burrito is cold as heck, y'all. I had to warm that burrito up. I'm giving y'all time to go to Twitter and then retweet and comment on the tweet I just posted. Um, yeah, and a few, I'm going to pick a winner from there. All righty. I'm about to pick somebody. All right, I picked the winner. I quoted them, and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hop off this live wave, fam. I'm tired right now. I never win, 3WP. You won. Zamari, you won before, like twice, I think. I feel your pain, says Kendrick. I'm tired right now, y'all. I still got to edit that video about woofing. I thought I was going to be able to pump it out on Monday, but man, I'm gonna just have to get that done by Friday. And yeah, I'm gonna see y'all in that whiffing video. Bye. Peace out y'all.